Imagination is funny It makes a cloudy day sunny Makes a bee think of honey We'd like you to meet some talented people talking about something we respect, imagination. Here's inventor David Gordon Wilson. Imagination, I suppose, is conceiving of something that is a little different from what has gone on, on before. Uh, when I first sketched out this bicycle, I wasn't sure that the design would work. Here's this gadget, it's just like a large roller skate. One is sitting back uh, on my bike in a, in a comfortable position, surveying the world with a friendly smile, and it's amazing how the world looks back at one. Hi, how'd you like it? <laughs> this bike has transformed my commuting because it turns out to be a fun occasion. I arrive at a traffic light with uh, some people waiting for a bus. They're all standing around, not speaking to one another, and suddenly they're all talking to me and talking to each other. Well, it's, a, it's a homemade, home design bike. It's not a, a big prestige item in today's world to, to have a better bicycle, especially at MIT. There is no Nobel Prize in bicycle design. <laughs> but I enjoy it. David Gordon Wilson's imagination shows in his work. The imagination of a company shows in its people. Here's engineer Gordon Hungerford of Mobile Chemical Company talking about plastic packaging. I've spent most of my career trying to develop plastic packaging material. That's the hardest possible, the hardest thing to do is to get a new product off the ground, get it through its gestation period and get it to win. It's a highly competitive thing. You, you're not only competing with yourself, but you're competing with the, the blasted hardware that doesn't work and the process that doesn't work. That's not too bad. We'll, we'll, we'll get back in business tomorrow morning. It's then. a never-ending succession of problems, each one of which, by the way, are a very interesting problem. You know, they might not be challenging to an academician who would look at them and say, well, I can study that for a year and a half or so with a couple of graduate students and I'll understand it completely. Of course, you have 40,000 of these problems like this and you can't study them with 80,000 graduate students or something. You can't do that. You have to take a lot of intuitive leaps and unfortunately, a large percentage of them are wrong leaps. But when you get one and you solve it, that's a great feeling. So this is what I occupy my days with, my nights also, I guess. Imagination, it dares the different, the unexpected, expected from mobile.